We have a rare intensive eruption of the Fuego volcano in the Guatemala. Those of you who watch my channel, you know that this volcano erupts usually. Every day we have some eruption, but they're minor. This is the most intense so far, and it has lasted a long time compared to what we see normally. As you can see, there is a lot of pyroclastics, lots of volcanic bombs, and uh, they are scattered all around the volcano and also rise into the higher atmosphere. This volcano is causing a lot of damage to the local area around it, as you can see here. If it continues, it can cause more damage. At the moment, the damage is local. A few communities, up to 250 people, have been evacuated from around it. But if it continues, as you, as you can see, it is going. It is very uh, eruptive at this stage. It may actually uh, cause more uh, evacuations further down the uh, toward the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Guatemala in, uh, has a border with the Pacific Ocean, as you can see, and the eruption of this volcano, as you can see here in this satellite image, is uh, spreading westward toward the Pacific Ocean. This is the area that are affected by the ash. We have been able actually to photograph the maps that the local authorities are working on. There may be a danger of the lahar. If it mixed with the rain, this ash can actually cause lahar, intense mud flow, and uh, and even probably causing disruption to the you know, airplane routes. We also have to wait and see what's going on. Fuego erupts fire, and this makes this particular volcano a most interesting one. The shape of it from a distance is a perfect cone as if. Well, when you get a close-up and you can look at it actually from a safe distance, this is what you will see. A relatively shield-shaped volcano that's near the summit with a, a lot of fumaroles coming from the main crater and also some vents around it when the the height of the volcano is the pressure is not enough to come from the full height it comes from that side and when it erupts is like this you, you can see it in the dark better during the daylight it erupts also but you don't see this amber this glowing red lava this hot lava coming out volcanic bombs and pyroclastics and ash the softer particles and finer ones erupt directly to the air and the heavier ones just roll down the hill roll down the mountain 3,600 or 700 meters and this volcano is located in the Guatemala almost subtropical climate and you can see there is plenty of moisture all the time around and yet this volcano is so high it goes above all of that but in the rare moments that we can see the whole area clear you can see that the landscape is shaped by these eruptions continuous daily eruptions of this volcano an ash plume is going usually toward the west toward the pacific ocean as you can see prevailing wind in that direction and uh, the lava flows from this volcano down the slope can uh, actually affect the communities around it as you can see in this uh, hazard map it just shows the risk of the lava flowing toward the communities around it and pyroclastics and the uh, uh, material that can form in this part of the ring of fire in Guatemala where the actual uh, uh, cocos plate is undergoing subduction under the North American plate uh, creating a you know a trench and then a, a accretionary wedge then the lab slab melting and creating these pimples we call volcano when the slab is melted and rises again back to the surface of the earth fascinating Fuego Volcano is one of the most fascinating uh, volcanoes in the Indo-Pacific Ring of Fire. And today, early hours of the morning, we had this eruption, which was really huge and uh, spread to the surrounding area, not just limited to that. It was throwing hot, glowing rock around the volcano. And several of these... Uh, pieces of the lava fell into a forest and created a fire you can see to the extreme right on the lower part in the daylight you can see that the smoke is rising from those areas that the 
uh, volcanic rocks have fallen, uh, extending. Hopefully, because there is no fire extinguishing uh, force there to do to deal with these things. Hopefully, during the daylight, maybe the, the rainwater will cause this to be extinguished. These are satellite images showing those forests around that area. Uh, I hope that the uh, fire will be extinguished by the nature itself.